Greetings everyone, Fru here. Welcome to the Demo Hub. Today we'll see how to set up GPT to connect to Snowflake, leveraging Visual Studio Code for the setup. Let's dive in. We're going to assume you have Visual Studio Code installed, Python installed, as well as options for managing your environment. In my case, I leverage Conda. So let's go in and create a new virtual environment. Call it Demo Hub GPT, Python 9 and the virtual environment should be created. You can leverage PIP if that's the option available to you. Our virtual environment has been successfully created and shows up. Let's open up a new terminal. Now we can activate our virtual environment. With our virtual environment activated, we can now install dbt. For this, we're gonna leverage PIP. Because we're doing this for Snowflake, we have to specify that. Takes a few seconds. With dbt now installed, we're going to begin by creating a new directory. Call it dbt. Let's cd into that directory and verify the directory is empty. From here, we're going to do dbt init. This should initialize dbt within that environment. So for this, it's prompting for our project name. Let's call this demo hub. Do you want to write? You're doing this for Snowflake, one for yes. What well, is our Snowflake account? After putting in all the necessary details, dbt now has been initialized. With dbt initialized, we can verify the files that have been created. Go ahead to File Explorer and open up to the dbt folder. This brings us to the folder we initialized. So here we can see our demo hub project. We can see our logs and a few other folders as a result of the initialization. A couple of things we have to pay attention to. First is the dbt project.yaml file. Within the dbt project.yaml file, there are three things we want to validate. Number one is the project name, our profile name, and the target name. Now, all of this are being referenced in another file within dbt called the profiles.yaml. To access the profile.yaml file, we're going to go back to the command line. From here, cd into the .dbt directory. Inside, we find the profiles.yaml file. Let's open that up. With the profile.yaml file open, we're going to validate a couple of configurations necessary for connecting to Snowflake. Your account, your database, password, role, schema, warehouses, and user. We're also going to want to validate the project name. The name in here is the name of the project and should match the name we provide within the project.yaml file. Let's close this without saving. With our configurations validated, we now have dbt pretty much ready for use. But first, let's go back into the terminal. Here, we're going to activate Conda. With Conda activated, let's execute dbt debug. DBT debug should leverage our configurations to validate and test against the connectivity to Snowflake. But here we have an issue. So this issue is because we're not executing this query from the correct directory. So let's cd into demo hub directory. Clear that, ls. Now we have our demo hub directory. From within here, we can do our dbt debug. It validates our installation is complete. Let's test our installation by doing a dbt run. This should run the models available and the results should show up. And we can see the sample models here. And all of this will be persisted in Snowflake. In future videos, I'm going to go in to explain the directories within dbt, connectivity to Snowflake, and a more detailed demo around creating models in dbt and having that executed on Snowflake. Stay tuned for that. I hope this demo has given you the steps for getting dbt up and running within your environment. Thanks for watching. This has been Fro with Demo Hub, and I'll see you in our next demo.